Hello and welcome to Infinity. Last time we looked at a basic method of using vivid light to sharpen and we started with the picture, we had an inverted version of it and with a vivid light blend mode and we get this and we didn't really explain this here and we're going to look at that in a minute and when we added the this and with a Gaussian blur we found that we could sharpen this quite well. However, this is using an overlay blend mode. If we wanted to use something like linear light, which we do on the uh, high pass filter, then we get strange effects here. Maybe we can turn the, the blur down, but we still get that yellow bit. And that's related to that discoloration in the gray layer. So we kind of need to address that. Also, because there's color coming through, when I do this layer here, you can see other colours coming through. We need to make it monochrome, which we do in a high pass filter. So let's start from the beginning and address this. So first of all, Control J to duplicate this. So I got a layer here. Now then to put an inversion on that, I'm going to use the invert layer simply because it makes it easier in other ways but this inverts that so if i control g to group that together then in this here i can go to the uh, blend mode of that and make that vivid light so we get this area here now what we've got here with this is some discoloration here and if we zoom right into this you can see with this that if I take the pipette here, you can see that the green is zero, which is effectively the, you know, the value of black if everything was zero. But the thing is, vivid light doesn't cope well. Or it is actually deliberately blacks and whites it doesn't treat. So therefore you get this effect. So in other words, we need to take the value off zero. So nothing should be zero and nothing should be 100%. And the way to do that, if I go in here and I put in a levels and I need to use the output here, I need to lift this up. So if I lift that up there um, to one and take this one down to 99, then we've got some effect happening here, but it's not great. And the reason it's not great, I just need to do it to the background one down here. So I can take that levels control hit Control J to duplicate it and drag it down and move it in as a child of that background layer. And now we see we've knocked that right down. But we've not gone all the way. And so we can knock this up 2%, 98. So make them add up to 100. Go to the level there, 2% and 98. Then we've knocked it back even more. And if we go to... 5% and 95% and similarly here 5% and 95% we've pretty much defeated that so those intrusions of the colours here because of the zero values is now addressed. So what do we want else in here? We want that blur don't we? So we'll put this above the invert so go to light filters and Gaussian blur and lift that up here and we've got that effect but now we've got this thing of the colors coming in here so what we're going to do is could put above here is a monochrome conversion so i'm going to go to here and i'm going to do it by using the levels simply because I'm not changing anything here, but you can do to play with it and change the RGB there to grey. And there you go, now I've got a monochrome layer above, but I need to group this up here. And for this also, I need to duplicate this. So I'm going to keep that levels adjustment, so hit Control J, and then those layers above there, Control G to group them all together. So I got the adjusted original down here and then this top layer here is like the high pass filter. That's the same kind of effect, but now we've got full control of it. 
put the levels in there so make sure that's working and we've got that black and white and now the top layer here we can now put down to overlay but we can also go down now things like hard light vivid light and linear light and we've now got if we look in here a very strong sharpening effect if you look at that there not much sign of halos either you can get halos if you kind of crank it up too much so i take the blur there which is only six pixels if i start pulling that right up now we can see the halos appearing here but you can see the strength of the effect you're going to get so you pull that back until you're getting away from any haloing effect but you can get an extremely strong sharpening effect normally you don't want it this much so you can always turn it down here or you can go to this here linear light and take that down uh, where we go. take that down to something like a vivid or harder even overlay and you see you get progressively less strength in sharpening but there you go that's the advanced type approach where we're putting in the levels here simply to change it to grey and the levels here and on each and the other ones as well in order to bump it off that zero and one so we get a get rid of that little colouring effect here that happens when you do the vivid light. Anyway that's it and thank you very much for watching.